If you're interested in learning more about virtual chassis, grab a seat in our Juno's Enterprise Switching or Advanced Juno's Enterprise Switching courses. For full details, just visit juniper.net slash courses. It also appears on the Juniper Network Certified Specialist Enterprise Routing and Switching Exam. But enough of me, let's get to your learning bite. Hello, my name is David Williams and I will be walking you through this learning bite on returning a EX virtual chassis to standalone mode. This learning bite will consist of two parts. We'll do a slide overview first and then we will do a demonstration on breaking the virtual chassis. So step one when we want to return to standalone mode is to disable the VC ports we will console into the master device. Um, in this case, we have a two port, or two member, I should say, virtual chassis. The master will be referred to as switch 1A, and the backup will be referred to as switch 1B. We'll start out by doing a request virtual chassis VC port, set interface VCP0 disable and we'll do the same thing on VCP1. This is on the master. We'll then console into switch 1B and perform the same commands and verify that the ports have been disabled. Our next step is we will go to both devices and recycle the opposite member IDs. Um, if you try to recycle a member ID that is active or in other words your own member ID you'll get an error alright but our objective here is we want to make the used member ID available for reassignment so we'll go to switch 1B and we'll say request virtual chassis recycle member ID 0 then we will go on to switch 1A and request virtual chassis recycle member ID 1. The next step is we should now only see uh, an individual member, but we need to also renumber uh, member 1 back to member 0. So the last piece will be request virtual chassis renumber member ID 1 to new member ID 0. And at this point, you should have two standalone EX switches. OK, let's demonstrate um, returning the virtual chassis to standalone mode. We'll start out on switch 1A. And we will run a show virtual chassis VC ports. Okay, and we can see now that both of the VC ports are up. And we'll go ahead and also just verify with a uh, run show virtual chassis status. Okay, and at this point, you can see that member zero is the master, and member one is the backup of our virtual chassis. And if we were to assign a new member ID, the next member would be member 2. And our objective here on switch 1A and switch 1B, which are part of this virtual chassis, uh, is we want to make them standalone. So we'll start out with switch 1A, and we'll kind of go through our commands that we demonstrated. Let's go back into operational mode. And we'll do a request virtual chassis VC port set interface VCP0 disable. And we will do the same thing for VCP1. We'll then 
console into switch 1B. Carry. Okay, and type some similar commands. So we'll say request virtual chassis VC port set interface VCP zero disable and we'll do the same for VCP one. Okay, now we're ready to recycle our member IDs. So we will request virtual chassis recycle member ID zero. And we will do a similar command on switch 1A, except it will be for member one. And the last piece is we want to go back over to switch B and do a request virtual chassis renumber member ID 1, which we can see in our prompt here, okay, back to member ID 0, okay. It gives us a little message that says to move a configuration to member ID one to zero, please use the replace command for your interfaces. Okay, so there's still um, the matter of uh, returning the interfaces back to standalone mode. So we'll go ahead and say yes here. Okay, and now we've been prompted to log back in. So we'll log in. And let's do our show virtual chassis status. Okay, and we see now we're at one device, member zero. We'll just verify on our other switch. Show virtual chassis status, one member, and the next member will be member one. So right now, switch 1A and switch 1B are in standalone mode. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths, industry segment and technology specific training paths. Juniper Networks Certification Program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence. And the training community, from forums to social media, join the discussion.